bring it back. Hey YouTube, what's going on? We're back with episode 2 of Kingdoms and Castles. Hopefully, this week we'll have a few less fires and turn into a small little bustling town. But, let's get started. So, if you remember, at the end of last week's, uh, last week? Yesterday's episode, uh, I had a few issues with fires on a lot of my buildings. Um, and I just started constructing this little defensive tower in the hope that that is going to... Oops in the hope that that is going to deter future dragon attacks although I have no idea how effective that's really going to be so um, I have 75 beds and only 64 people with 6 people idle so all the worker jobs are filled so let's see what we can do mason repairs damage structure with stone does that require? sorry I'm a bit slow guys but it, uh, this is as much lost on me as it is on any of you if you've not been playing this game. <laughs> and Mason sounds like a useful addition, but I'm not sure where to put him. Build him there. So, how's the food situation looking? Ah, uh, so we lost food last year, which is not a good thing. I still can't build a darn windmill. I think I always seem to spend my resources just as I'm starting to consider building a windmill. So I'm going to consider expanding the farm. I'm going to go here since this is unfertile land. Although I may build a windmill there. Or should I? No, I won't. I'll do that. And this should then allow me... Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to build a windmill, sort of in the middle here, and then I'm going to build farms all around it. But for now, we'll set construction a few farms there. Ah, good. Our kingdom attracted eight new residents. We're still in positive charcoal. But negative food, so we'll keep building that up. Let's speed things up a little bit while we gather some resources. What a nice little village we now have. Can I yet build anything? No. What are we short on? Wood. Let's look at trying to build another forest. Well, I did do that last time, so we've got two forest, full-time foresters now working. Base out but a 16 each, I think I'm just using wood too quickly. So we're now full on beds as well. So I'll take that as... Um, should I? Should I wait and just do the windmill? No, I'll hang on. I'm soon going to build this windmill, honestly. One more wood, that's all we need. Hey! So, I'm going to place the windmill there. Even though that's going to mean I'm going to lose um, a, a farming square due to the piece of road I put here, I think it's better than putting it there on the fertile ground. If I put it there, that that's only using just a sort of a moderate fertile spot. I'm going to do that. And that will allow me to build farms surrounding the the windmill. And then hopefully That will increase their productivity. Well, that's what it says it does anyway. Let's go on to fast forward mode a bit here, guys. So, as I mentioned before, this is going to be the farming district with the housing district over to the left and the industrial district over to the right. Um, and then eventually I guess we're going to have to start hopping islands because I don't think I've got any iron on this island when I looked earlier a couple of stone there but I think this, this yeah, that's iron the, that the, uh, the brown stuff is iron so I'm going to have to hop across to the other island through the housing district and start a small little sector there where I can collect the iron right, got enough for the remaining farms 
and the windmill's been constructed. So, yes, it gives plus three per year. So it does actually add quite a bit to your farming production. So, mm, worth building. That should now mean we're getting more than enough food per year. Yeah, which it looks like we are. Um, so, hovels. What can we build more than hovels? Might hang on for a little bit and try and go for a cottage. Over a little hovel. It's probably going to look a little bit better. It's a little bit of a housing upgrade. Oh no. Well, I said we're going to try and have less fires, but as it turns out, it's not the case. How did a farm catch on fire? It's a field. In the rain. <laughs> I don't want to place my cottage next to it just in case that catches fire as well. There we go, so we've placed a cottage, see how that turns out. Once I get enough wood, I'm going to place another well, because, well, as we're discovering, fire is real. Wow, a lot of food there. So then this sector down here is all going to be turned into housing. A couple of rows deep. And then we're going to have a bridge, and I'm probably going to perhaps plan to stretch a small castle here, defending the bridge point. Uh, having watched some other YouTubers as well, it seems like uh, we saw a dragon earlier in the in episode one, but he's not come back yet. But it also looks like you can get Viking invasions, which sounds like it could be problematic. So um, we've got to watch out for that as well. My cottage is nearly built. Two wood to go. Come on, come on, come on. One more to go. <laughs> okay. Take the time. Yeah, so we're now well into uh, food production. Charcoal production is continuing to rise, which is good. Um, I may look at... Uh, yeah, I might look at trying to sort out iron production. So I'm going to build a road out into the middle of nowhere. And then we're going to have a, a very short little bridge onto the other side, where the road is then going to take a rather random route until I run out of wood, where it's ultimately then going to lead down and access that bit of iron there. And then I'll probably put a stockpile around here as well, so they don't have to carry it all the way back, make it a bit more productive. I also want to just finish that off there. I think I'm going to have to do it like that, and then that should allow me to not have enough wood to build an iron mine. Wow. Wood, wood really is a problem. Could maybe consider placing another forester. You'd think they wouldn't have made a woodcutter need so much wood, since you're not going to be building woodcutters unless you have a shortage of wood. Seems a little self-defeating. Used <laughs> up too much wood on the road. Come on, two wood. There we go. So I'm going to place another forester there. It's probably going to overlap a little bit. And I'm going to go there. And then he should hopefully start planting trees. How happy is 76? So I think the happiness, apparently the happiness these libraries generate increases over time. So because it's got four knowledge stored, it gives four happiness. As that knowledge goes up to tw 20 knowledge stored, it gives 20 happiness. So it should slowly increase the productivity, the, the overall happiness of the village. Still got neighbours, yeah, so they should be relatively happy. What else can we build? See, so we need wood for that. Oh, manors! 
Oh, we can a manor gives 25 peasants to manage charcoal, yields more tax revenue. Oh, okay. Perhaps I have to look at building some manors. We could have this as the manor street coming all the way down here. And then any gaps we can just fill in with hovels. We also probably need to consider building a hospital as well. Because I, I foresee that being a problem in the future. Oh no, another hovel's on fire. Quickly bring water. Certainly guys, if you're going to play this game, build wells. And it, oh, damn it. Hovel burnt down. Um, on the town, build another hovel. Oh dear, honestly, fire is such a problem. These peasants are so careless. Seem to take no care in what they're doing at all. Place a stockpile there to feed the iron mine. Once that's constructed, although the builders have got quite a long way to take everything. And then once we've got enough wood, we're going to start building manors down this row. Also probably should consider building a hospital. Mm, where is that going to go? Yeah, seems like a good spot just on the end there. And then I can just tag a little bit of road up to that hospital, like that. supposedly that deals with people who are sick so hopefully that should reduce the death rate maybe if I'm, I'm not sure if people are dying naturally or not don't know but hopefully hospitals got to do good hasn't it and it's got to increase happiness surely so it's starting to turn into a nice little little uh, small village here uh, food productivity is still good, still plus 45 for the year. Uh, the second, well, the third even, the third uh, forester is starting to plant and collect wood, which is good. That's what we like to see. And the iron mine is waiting for one more piece of wood, and that should be then online. Yes. Hey, so we've now got an iron. The, the iron mine was open for around two seconds before it burst into flames. I I, I honestly have no words. <laughs> wow. Just, yeah. <laughs> I think they might have a, the fire ratio set a little bit too high on this game. The developers watch this. Turn down the bloody rate of fires, they're a nightmare. Oh, it actually costs gold to build manors, although we have enough so we can afford it. Um, but I still need more wood and more stone. I could probably build another stone quarry over here actually, because this looks like another uh, usable piece of stone. Is that a quarry? Yeah. So we'll have another stone quarry as well, even though we are now running out of spare people. I need 35 stone. Yeah, see, people are visiting uh, our city, but because I've not got enough houses, they keep, they're not staying because there's nowhere for them to sleep. So uh, we're not expanding as quickly as we could be because of this. So we really need this stone uh, so we can get get people, get these manors built and then get more people in. Come on, two more stone, and then we should have enough for mana. There we go. So I'm going to build the first manor. Mm, is that a wise decision? Or should I go away one? Nope, first manor's going to go there. Right on the end. Uh, so each manor takes up what? Four, is that four square? Two, two widths. So that's two, and two, one, two, and two. Okay, so they'll fit perfectly. So in that case then, mm, it makes life a little difficult because I wanted to put a well somewhere. 
in which case I'm going to run a road down this back route here like so and then I'm going to place a well when we get a bit more stone I know some of this is kind of nice fertility but considering it's so well clustered over here it just doesn't really make sense to just dot odd farms around I don't think or, or it won't look very nice anyway so I'm not going to bother doing that so I'm going to place another well there since obviously I'm trying to avoid rampant fires where possible uh, so we've only got two workers working on the manor house hopefully we can just get this built in this episode I'm going to try and keep the episodes to around sort of 20 minutes um, it's sort of quite easy to <laughs> for me to forget and end up dragging on for half an hour, 40 minutes but I think it's good to keep them to, to, to a sort of reasonable length I'm going to try and, uh, well I'm planning to do Kingdom of Castles at least for the rest of this week um, so there'll be an episode every day come on peasants, get this manor built Ah, so we have a hospital. Oh, so that costs money as well. Oh, so I'm now actually not making any money at all. Because it's all going into hospitals, librarians and soldiers. Mm, maybe building the hospital was an error. I didn't realise that was going to cost me. I'm ending up with too much wood now. Stone mines working here. Uh, I've only got two workers. Right, so yeah, so population is becoming a real problem now. We'll keep on fast forward for the moment. We've still got quite a good few little islands to colonise yet. And quite a lot of further room to the north of my island. But just not enough builders. I think is what I'm going to do is temporarily close one of the uh, foresters. So that we get uh, more builders assigned to the wells and the roads. So these things get sped up a little bit. I've got all the stone to the manor house just waiting on the... Oh my god. The fire. Fire. Come on, don't claim the hovel, because I don't have to rebuild it. Oh dear. I think we've already probably had more fires in this shorter episode than we did in the entire the last one. And I thought we had a lot of fires last time. And I don't know if you as viewers like me, every time I see these charcoal huts I think they're both on fire. <laughs> but they are just making charcoal. Ironically, they haven't even caught on fire. The building, the only buildings actually using fire, have not burnt down. We also need to start thinking about probably building some more castle blocks. Um, because if that dragon comes back, it's going to be a real problem. I could build. Can I do a gate block? Oh, that's quite cool. I could build like a wall along here. Separate the two islands off. Sort of a bit of a defensive. I could do it there. Do it there. That makes sense. Place that there. I've got lots of building projects into the distant future now, my, uh, my peasants. Manor's nearly up. six wood remaining and then we can take more people into our city voila sorted well with the completion of that manor I think I'll draw this episode to a close thanks for watching this second episode of Kingdoms and Castles if you have any comments good or bad please post them in the comment below and if you enjoyed it please give that sub button a smash. Thanks guys, see you on the next video.